Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1125. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1123 to 1126, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have some names and we're entering dates, but we want to validate the dates. We want to make sure that when someone's entering dates into these cells, the wrong date is not entered. And our criteria is going to be, it's got to be for the month of June 2014. It can't be a holiday, and it can't be Sunday, which is our weekend. Now, we're going to highlight this range and use data validation. So data ribbon, data validation, data validation custom. Oh, and we're going to use a logical formula. But instead of using this dialog box to create it, let's create the formula in the cell, see how it's working, see our patterns of trues and falses. If it's working, then we can copy the formula and paste it into the dialog box, which will verify using a logical formula whether the correct date has been entered. All right, so the first trick is holidays and weekends. Now, in our last video, 1124, we did conditional formatting, and we used the networkdays.international function. We did conditional formatting. Now we're going to be using this for data validation. Now, the trick is if we want to ask whether these dates are holidays or weekend, we're simply going to use start date and end date as the same date. That way, when we're counting net working days, this is either going to give us 1 or 0. When it gives us a 0, that means it's a holiday or a weekend. That false will trigger data validation to disallow our entry. Now, comma, weekend, we have 11 for Sunday. And then comma, holidays, we have our two holidays, F4 to lock that. All right. Control Enter and copy this down. So those zeros will be disallowed. Notice that's a Sunday, that's a Sunday, and that's a holiday. Now, we further have to add, well, in essence, we have one, two, three criteria here, but we've used one function. But we have two additional criteria we're going to have to add. We're going to ask, are you date in the cell greater than or equal to the first of the month? And are you less than or equal to the end of the month? So this is one set of 0 for false and 1 for true. We have two other conditions, so that means we can use the AND function. The AND function is a logical function. You're allowed to put as many logical tests as you want, up to something like 255. Now, these logical tests, 0, false and an error will trigger a false. And any non-zero number and true will trigger a true. So let's add logical 1. We already have that. I'm going to come to the end, comma, logical 2. Now I'm going to ask the question, hey, date, are you greater than or equal to the start of the month? Now I'm going to hit F4 to lock it, comma. Now the third logical test right here. Same date, but are you less than or equal to the end of the month? Now, how are we going to get the end of the month? Now, we can use the end of the month function. And I actually have many videos on comparing a date from a cell with a comparative operator, less than or equal to, and then the end of the month function. But in those videos, we surround the comparative operators with double quotes and use the join symbol. But check this out. I ran into this example just by accident the other day. I'm not going to put the comparative operator in double quotes. I'm not going to use the ampersand. I'm just going to slap the end of the month right next to the comparative operator. So this is a quite a bit easier than other versions of this formula that I've done. Now, start date, we're going to take the start date, F4 lock it, comma, and then the months. We simply, if we want the end of the current month, we use a 0. Next month would be 1. Last month would be minus 1. So check that out, close parentheses. There it is, end of the month just sitting naked right after that comparative operator. And lo and behold, it will work. In fact, we'll run Formula Evaluator and prove that it works without the double quotes and uh, join. All right, so that's our third logical test right there. There's our second, and there's our first. Now, the way the AND works is there's got to be a true, true, and true, three trues or three um, non-zero numbers in order for AND to deliver a true and allow the data to be entered. All right, if it gets 
any false whatsoever, and criteria will disallow the entry. So ready? Close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. All right, so the only one that's allowed here is this 620. It's not a Sunday, a holiday, and it's in June 2014. Now let's click in this cell right here and run Formula Evaluator, Formulas Ribbon, Evaluate Formula, or we can use Alt M V. And check this out. We're going to run this. I'm going to click Evaluate with my mouse or Enter. Enter. So we got a 1 for the first one there, right? Enter. It's looking in the cell. It sees the serial number. Enter. It sees the second serial number and runs the comparative operator. So it's got a 2. Now watch this. B2 is 1. 41810, that's the serial number. And watch this end of the month. It is totally working. That is so awesome. So now it's got a one, a true, and a true, and and will let the data be entered. All right, close this. Now we're going to highlight and put that formula in the dialog box. But remember, the active cell is at the top, so you have to copy the very top formula, because this is what's going to go in the dialog box. Now I'm copying it in Edit Mode, Control-C, Escape. I'm going to highlight Data, Validation, Validation, or Alt-D-L, Tab. And now I want to get to this Custom, so I type a C, or just use my mouse. Tab to accept custom, and now this is asking for a formula. Control V to paste it. Now I want an error alert over here, so I'm going to come over here and type something like so. So I have a title non Sunday weekend, current month, and then a longer message. That will come up when we see a false. Now watch this data validation, click OK. Huh? These, none of these dates are OK. Well, check out. We had data in the cells before we added our data validation. So one way, if you're building a form, is to do the data validation first, then enter the date. But if you have this situation, no problem. Data, data validation, and circle invalid data. So you can go ahead and circle it. We could also turn that off. But now, very clearly, when we type Let's just delete this. Delete and start entering dates. I'm going to enter 6-1. No way. That is a Sunday. Check that out. Please enter a non-Sunday weekend date in the current month. All right, so now I type 6-2. No problem. It works fine. 6-8, forget it. Ain't going to work. But 6-9, that'll work. 6 6 slash 27, not going to work. That's a holiday. But 6 slash 25 will. So we can just go 5 last month. We'll enter something from last month. Ain't going to work. So that is beautiful. Our logical true false formula is working fine for entering dates in the current month that are not a weekend or a holiday. All right, we'll see you next trick.